Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I am extremely excited to introduce my new plugin. It's called Divi Timer Pro. It's a countdown timer with an auto restart feature and an evergreen feature. This is going to be great for any type of marketing or landing pages. Let's take a look at the features and some of the demos. So the reason we made the Divi Timer Pro plugin is because of how lacking the default countdown timer is in Divi. It's essentially worthless because without it restarting and without the evergreen feature, it's really no point having it on your landing page. So we've added an auto restart, or you could say recurring feature, and also an evergreen feature. So it has the two features. Now evergreen refers to when a timer starts just when the user lands on the page, okay? So it's, you know, if you set it that the deal expires in two hours, it's gonna, so if you have it that a deal expires in two hours, for example, uh, it doesn't matter when someone lands on that page, it's gonna say two hours for them and start counting down. And then of course, auto restart, it's just when it's finished, it'll just start again, so you can select the time. Now this is a unique feature. Um, there's no other plugin like this. You can use this on your sales pages, landing pages, pop-ups, promo bars. I'm going to be showing you some of that. Um, so you want to kind of trigger the customer's fear of missing out, all right? And that's what the evergreen feature does and the countdown timer in general. So there's actually a good number of reasons to use a countdown timer. You might have a shipping deadline that you want it to restart at a certain cutoff time every day. Maybe you just want to show a limited time offer, a discount, or sale that's going to end soon. Maybe you, uh, you know, tell the visitor that your product is only limited availability and it just creates an impulse purchase. Um, you want to have a flash sale and you can use it for um, email opt-ins as well. So I want to get started in showing you actually how to use the plugin. Okay, so let's get this thing installed. Let's go here to plugins, add new, and then wherever you've um, downloaded it from the marketplace or our website, you're going to go find that file, click on upload plugin, find the file and then click install now. Okay, so activate the plugin and then now what's gonna happen is when we go to our visual builder, there's going to be a new module and that the name of this module is going to be called Divi Timer Pro. So what we did is we took the default countdown timer in Divi and we've copied it and then added um, the new evergreen and auto restart features. So the cool part is we do have all of the other features like the design settings included. So let's go and find our new plugin. Let's look for timer. There we go, Divi Timer Pro. Okay, so right now it's saying waiting for countdown to start, and that's good. So we need to choose a timer type. So we can choose evergreen, or we can choose auto restart, and it really doesn't matter. Let's go over some of the settings. Auto restart uh, it allows you to select a start time. So whenever you want it to just start counting, and then you would add the days and hours and minutes, okay? So if I want this to auto restart every 30 days, okay? And my start time is, um, you know, this past Thursday, okay? And then it's going to see how it only has 27 days because I've had it at 30. And by the way, this is based on the time zone that you have set in the WordPress settings. Okay, so that's the auto restart feature. It's very simple for the auto restart. Um, you just have, you know, picking your start time and then your um, days, hours, minutes, and then when this gets down to zero, it starts it back over. Okay, now the other setting here, the option is evergreen. So this is going to be when someone lands on your site, how long do you want the countdown timer to say they have left? So the timer type is on evergreen, but then we get this expiry action. So I've added three things here. So you can either redirect the user to a URL. So what you would do there when you click redirect, you would put in the URL of the site and what's gonna happen, if this reaches zero, the page will automatically take you to another page. And that would be great because if you could say something like, the deal has ended, we're sorry, but, you know, and then give them another offer, um, you know, a way to contact you or something like that. Um, ideally, they shouldn't, be taking that long that they've missed it, but this is a really nice way um, to keep them. So that redirect feature, I really like. The other one would be to show a message. So you could say, when this ends, you might wanna say something like, um, sorry, um, this offer has ended. 
something like that, you know, whatever you want to say, and that will just show here um, instead of the timer. And then the third one is just to hide the timer, and that's just going to hide um, the timer completely. So, and that works great because if they're here um, and they're browsing around and they've landed on it, they saw the timer, but then later um, it's just not there. So that's fine. Um, so here we set the expiry days, hours, and minutes. Um, a lot of times you'll see something like, you'll go to like a pricing table on a website and it'll say like, you know, four hours left to, to get this pricing or something like that. And so the way this works, if I save this, this is based on the user's cookie. So if I save this and exit, let's just do this as an example. Okay, so remember I set it for four hours, so you can see it's starting to count down. Now, if I was to go to an incognito window, see it's already counting down. Let's go to a new window because it won't be tracking my cookies. All right, so let's go here. All right, and you can see that it started counting down again at four. So that's what's gonna happen. So if I wait another 10 minutes and reload this site, it's gonna start counting down at four. Now, if if I wasn't in this incognito window back here, if I refresh the page, see it's at 3.59, it's still counting down, okay? Because it knows that I'm still on the website. So that's the beauty of this. So we really do have a lot of incredible features. We have the post expiry actions, those three that we went over. You know, you can set your start date and time, the duration, and then we have the two types of timers. It's visual builder compatible and you can customize the style. And so what I mean by that is in here in the in the settings, it has everything that you would normally have. Okay, so like background color, um, design settings. So in here we have text alignment, um, you know, numbers, text, separator to style, everything. This is just copied from the default timer and we've added the functionality of the evergreen or the um, auto restart. Okay, so another thing we've done is created some of these demo styles, and this is going to be included for free when you purchase the plugin. So these are made using some CSS, and it's just a way of showing you what is possible with our plugin, but also with the Divi countdown timer. So you can apply these styles um, to either one. And then over in our documentation, we actually have um, under the customization row here, we have a bunch of code snippets basically, and I have them labeled. And this just gives you a way to style your countdown timers. Um, you can see how I have labels here. Um, you might want to add, um, you know, the here I'll show you. You might want to add like this box here around. You might want to make it into a circle, um, style the label here different than the numbers. All of that can be found here including a couple things like by default for some reason it has three digits on the days in the Divi countdown timer so we just have some ways to hide that so this is all included and then as we're building a couple more um, examples we're going to be including them as well we're still working on building out some examples um, here for example is a promo bar and you know it says order soon for next day shipping so maybe every day there's this cutoff time for the shipping and then every day this would restart at that time so that's just a, a beautiful example of how you could use that uh, we have another one here that would be absolutely perfect for churches so um you know our lec our next live stream church service starts in you know and you could put it set it for seven days and every sunday at 9 30 or whatever it's always counting down to that so that i think i think this is perfect for churches um, as far as evergreen demos, we do have a couple that would already built here. Um, this one's using a promo bar again. You know, it's like get three months access to something. You know, you got to get it soon. So you, you're prompting them to get it soon. Um, and again, this type of promo bar, we have a tutorial on that to how to make these with the theme builder. You do not even need a plugin. So these are our tutorial and this type of thing go perfectly together. Um, I'm just so excited for that. So we I have another one made here. It's just, you know, it's just saying, you know, get this offer before it's too late. So it's really unlimited what you want to do with the Divi Timer Pro. And um, 
I really hope you guys enjoy this. Again, we have these included as a bonus. Be sure to join our Facebook group. And of course, we always have support and documentation and updates and all that type of stuff. All right, so that's an overview of the Divi Timer Pro. Be sure to check out the demos, the documentation, and be sure to let us know if you have any questions. We truly hope that you enjoy using our Divi products on your websites.